Hello everybody and welcome to today's random album pick where we are going to be, or well, Brett is going to be um, choosing one album from a choice of three. So without any further ado, let's crack on. Hopefully that should come up. Yep. Are you there? Let's take it away. Okay. <laughs> so, Jimi Hendrix, uh, Valley of Neptune, Fleetwood Mac, and their greatest hits, and Wu Tang Clan, Enter the Wu Tang, 36 Chambers. Um, okay. So, I've heard of Wu Tang Clan, um, so I'm not a massive fan of that there. Um, Jimi Hendrix, very well known. Um, guitar playing stuff there. Mithy, don't know a lot of his stuff there at all. And uh, Fleetwood Mac, heard of. Do enjoy a bit of Fleetwood Mac. Definitely my kind of thing from there. Um, I don't know, I shouldn't be influenced from like other things we've done already, really. Um, it's always hard when it's the greatest hits because almost better. But I say I think, and sure, I'm, I'm going to go for Jimi Hendrix. Um, pure and basic again, someone who's so well known. Um, everyone's heard probably heard of Jimi Hendrix, and I hope I'm not putting Leon pressure there. And Jesse goes back and says he's not heard of heard of him. Um, but like I said maybe bar one song, one or two songs. I don't know any of his other stuff. Um, so it would be really interesting um, to see. So I think that's the one I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for Jimi Hendrix, Valleys um, of Neptune album. Okay. So yeah, I've, of course I've heard of Jimi Hendrix, but I'm not, there may be songs that I know of his, I probably are once we start looking them up and stuff or you tell me what they are i don't know um the two that you know i think um but yeah i don't even really know i guess he's just a kind of is he a pop pop singer that sort of genre what is it it's like so a bit more i'd say under the sort of the rock side of things mm. um he's very you know plus probably one of the best guitarists ever uh really and i think it's when you think about sort of going to festivals or listening to live music, it's all about that. I think if you appreciate and enjoy guitar riffs and guitar playing, then you love Jimi Hendrix. Again, I think for our side of things, I don't think it's the sort of thing we would go and sort of listen to or appreciate it as such. But then again, maybe we hear some of the back catalogue or stuff that maybe a lot of people might not like of Jimi Hendrix. We might quite like of his, I don't know. Yeah. So, so the main song that I know of his is one called um, All Along the um, Watchtower, yeah, uh, which they generally quite bit. like. Mm. Um, but I said otherwise, don't know a lot of his, his stuff think, really. So. Regarding Fleetwood Mac and Wu-Tang Clan. So yeah, so before we started doing this YouTube review stuff, we did, we did listen to both of these artists and yeah, Wu-Tang Clan, we didn't like. So was it that particular album that we've, we've listened to? Do you remember? Yeah, it, it, it was actually. I remember yeah. it. I think it was almost like Enter the Dragon. Yeah. Um, and then the mm, Fleetwood Mac. It's their greatest hits. Okay. Did, yeah, the Rumours album, which is probably their most famous album. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, so it would have been interesting to do the greatest hits. Yeah. In that regard. Yeah. Um, I think the opportunity to hear maybe some of uh, Jimi Hendrix's other stuff is again what she's really pr probably going going towards. Yeah, so I mean, I don't. Yeah, I don't mind it. I mean, it's Jimi Hendrix, as like I said, very well known. So, kind of looking forward to listening to see what what sort of stuff he produced. Um, as for the album itself, if you have a quick look, Valley yeah, of Neptune. Okay, so it's coming up as a compilation album. It's a post, a post, 
humus what does that mean post humus compilation album it was released in 2010 and oh, well, it's, yeah i was going to say based on what you said that part, it's obviously something that's been released after his death okay and actually, yeah, yeah. look at the sense. album cover it does look like he's almost like a ghost yeah, image ghost. In, mm. in the sky really okay so it's it was promoted the album was promoted as having 12 previously unreleased studio recordings including the title track so one of the okay. most sought after of all of hendrix hendrix's commercially unavailable recordings so yeah um interesting um there are two bonus tracks there um trash man and slow version Okay. Listen to them as well. Listen to them as well, or not? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Okay, so we listen to the two target bonus tracks. All right. Um, fair enough. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to overly like this, to be honest. But we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go, AJ. Brett. Yeah, you never know. I said you might find something, might find something you really like from it, potentially. Potentially. Until we listen, until we, listen we just don't know. Just we just don't, don't know. know. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, there we go. That's that. So we'll see you guys then on Sunday for the review. Is it num is this one number nine, I think I believe? This will be number nine, yeah. Nine or nineteen in total. Um, so yeah, not long now until we do the the ten. Where we rank the net, you know, it's 10 um, albums. So looking forward to doing that as well. So yeah, see you guys on um, Sunday for the review of Jimi Hendrix. What's the name of the album? Do you remember? Uh, Valley of Neptune. Valley, Valley of, Neptune. of Neptune. That's the one. Okay. See you. Goodbye.